Well, basically, my journey up to this chair basically started about 17 years ago um, when I was 11 years old and my mom passed away. Um, and I spent a lot of years, um, spent a lot of years of avoiding, indulging and replacing data. Up until a point where I experienced quite a great dep depression when I was about 20. So I had um, years of depression where I went into different um, psychotherapy, about three years of psychotherapy. And I came to a point where I found that um, psychotherapy really, I sort of like looked at all the data and I could find what had happened and what led to this, but I couldn't really find the tools to actually, to actually live a day-to-day -day life. Um, so then I got into more of a spirituality and I interested myself in, in those types of practices. And for about, um, that was about four years ago now. And I would say I found quite a great stability in that. Um, I did different Hindu, Buddhist uh, and uh, Christian practices. And what I came to a point basically where I found that I, because I very much did it on my own, it was very much a soul journey, I was going to do this on my own and everything was going to be conquered. And then I came to a point this spring where a friend of mine who's been into the community for about one and a half years um, talked about Balanced View and I had a look at, it, look at it and I found, what I found when I went to the first meeting in Stockholm after listening to quite a lot of downloads was that um, it was a community where I really found that people lived, they walked the talk, they really did what, what was talked about and um, yeah really what I did was I just, because I've, I've, this is my life in generally, I've really just like when I find something that I really enjoy I just pour my heart into it. So basically I, uh, after about one week I did um, the introduction training after that, the day after I applied for the 12 Empowerment. I did the 12 Empowerments this summer. Uh, after that I've just involved myself in service more and more and went to Bristol this, this fall. And now I'm here in Goa for six weeks. Um, and for me it's just been such a natural journey because when I see all of you um, really living this, um, really um, walking the talk and really just empowering yourselves and every other person you meet. And I see that in myself as well. I just see the benefits of this training. Um, it's, it's really cool to see how, how Balanced View is really a grassroots movement and it, it's about empowering everyone who's here. So I've found that in my, in my experience, like I just try to take benefit of all I can in terms of all the four mainstays and and I, I see the benefits in what I, everything I do like in my relationships with my family, in my relationship with my my friends and um, in my job I work as a sustainability communicator and I just see how I get the tools to actually talk about something that was very much a personal experience for me throughout my other practices so what I found now is I've also got a, um, I've got a language to actually share my experience with others and also to empower people who really want to, in terms of sustainability, try to create a sustainable world. Um, but by doing that through opening intelligence and actually like using things that are sustainable for real. So I would say in a sense, and this is what I've felt for many years now, that this is for me, the ultimate, this is sort of the ultimate world peace project where we're just every day taking responsibilities in our own lives. So I'm so grateful for all of you and all of you that are here. I mean, it's just so amazing to see that we are Balanced View. It's not some organization somewhere else. We are really Balanced View and it's um, amazing to see how we are empowered to do this together.